Let's use Hypergraph2D to plot some XY data. First, on the Build Plots panel, let's load a data file. Now we can select the X and Y components to be plotted. We will leave the X type set to time, but let's select Velocity as the Y type, leave the Y request set to Curve 34, and set the Y component to X, Y, and Z by holding down the Control button while making the selections. We can also define the layout for when the plot is created. First, let's set the layout to one plot per component. Now we'll set the window layout to the two window layout. When we select Apply, the plots are created. Notice how the page layout has changed to a two window layout. The X and Y, Y components are plotted on page one. Let's go to page two to see what is on that page. Here the Z, Y component is plotted in window one and window two is left empty. Let's return to page one. Next, let's go to the Define Curves panel and select Add to create a new curve. Now let's change the source to Math. We will first define the X vector. To do this, we click on the X equals field and then hold down Shift and select the curve in the Graphics window. This added the X vector for Page 1, Window 1, Curve 1 in the X equals 2 field. Now we will define the Y vector. The curve we wish to define is actually the integral of the page 1, window 1, curve 1, so we first need to select the integral function. This adds the integral command to the y equals 2 field. Next, we need to hold down Control and Shift, and then select the curve to add the x vector to the function. After we select the x vector, we can go ahead and select the y vector. This is done by holding down Shift and selecting the curve. Now that the function is defined, we simply need to select Apply to create the curve. Another way to find the integral of a curve is through the Plot Browser. If we right-click on a curve, in this case, the curve in Window 2, we can select Single Curve Math and then Integral. This is a quick way to do some math functions on curves. We can also use the Plot Browser to turn off the display of a curve. Let's right-click on the newly created curve and select Turn Off. We can also turn off the display of the curves in the Define Curves panel. First, we select the curve in the Curve listing and then uncheck the box next to the curve name. OK, so now we have defined the curves, performed some math operations, and turned off the display of the curves. Now let's use the Entity Attributes panel to change the display of the curves. First we will select the curves from the Curves listing, and then we can change the display attributes of the curve. Let's change the line style, as well as the line color. We can also change the display attributes of other items in the plot window. Let's click on the window header, X, to open the header footer panel. Using this panel we will change the color of the header text to blue. We can also click on the x-axis to open the axes panel. Within this panel, let's change the font of the axis. Let's change the font to bold and then the font size to 14. An additional thing we can change are the colors in the plot windows. To do this, let's go into the options panel and select the color tab. Let's change the color around the frame of the plot window in window one. So we select frame and then select the color. OK, so now we have made all the necessary changes in Window 1. To apply these changes to other windows, we can use the Apply Style tool. To do this, we right-click in the window and select HG Apply Style. So the first thing we are going to define is on which page we are going to apply the styles to. From the drop-down, we can select Current Page or All Pages. Let's go ahead and select Current Page. Next, we need to select what items we want applied to the other windows on the current page. We want to make sure that header, plot, axes, and curves are selected. And then we need to select OK to apply the changes. What we see here is that all the style changes we made in Window 1 have been applied to Window 2. Let's select Next Page to see if the changes were made there as well. Notice that the original styles are still applied on Page 2. This is because current page was selected in the HG Apply Style window. 
Let's return to page 1 and select HG Apply Style again. This time, let's select all pages and then select OK. Now when we go to page 2, we see that the style changes were made on this page as well. OK, so next, let's create some notes. This is done in the Notes panel. To create a new note, we need to select Add. Before we define the text for the note, let's select how it is going to be attached to the window. To do this, we select the Attach To tab. Let's have the note attached to a curve. We can specify which curve and where on that curve it will be attached. The note will be attached to the original curve in the window, and we will select the maximum point as the attachment point. Notice how the attachment point has changed in the graphics area. Next, we will select the Text tab to define the text in the note. For the text, we will enter maximum value equals. We can also insert the Y value at the attachment point by selecting Y from the buttons at the bottom of the panel. This inserted the templex function to report the Y value at the attachment point of the curve. Next, we select Apply to update the text and evaluate the templex function. Another nice feature is that we can copy and paste this note. So let's go ahead and copy the note, then make Window 2 the active window, and then paste the note into this window. Notice how the Y value is automatically updated because we use the templex function. Lastly, let's use the Coordinate Info panel to view the coordinates of the curve. Within this panel, the X and Y values for each point in the curve are listed in a table. We can click on a point on the curve in the graphics area, and the point is found in the table listing. We can also use the arrows in the panel to move point by point through the listing.